Alright all you sewers out there, this is Annette from Needlepointers.com and today I would like to show you how to make a nine patch pillow. The first thing you need to do when making a nine patch pillow is to choose the fabric. There are many color options. You can use two contrasting cotton fabrics, two colors with a panel or accent fabric in the middle, or randomly choose scrap fabric from your stash and make each block a different color. Now it's time to cut the fabric. You will need nine seven inch squares for an 18 inch square pillow form. The basic nine patch block uses two colors. With one color, cut five seven inch squares and with the other color, cut four seven inch squares. For my pillow, since I'm using a cute panel in the center, bl center block, I am only cutting four seven inch squares of each color. You will be making three rows with three squares in each row. I like to put mine on a work surface so I see exactly how it looks. Then I take the squares in one row in the order they need to be sewn together and I take them to the sewing machine. Take the first two squares and place them right sides together. Aligning the roll edges on the side and the top and the bottom. Pin them in place. Place the fabric under the presser foot and sew a half inch seam allowance. Do not sew over the pins as you're sewing. Take the third square and put it on top with, again, right sides together and sew. Make three rows. After sewing the rows together, it's time to press it. On the wrong side of the fabric, press the seams flat. This is to set the seam. Then turn it over and press the seam open. Okay, pin the top row to the middle row with wrong sides together and aligning the edges with a pin you can insert it right into the seam so that you can see if it's lined up evenly. Then it's time to go over to the sewing machine and sew the row together. Sew the rows together using a half inch seam allowance. When you're finished sewing the rows together, again, press the seam flat to set it and then press the seams open. After finishing making the nine patch pillow front, it's time to make the pillow back. And for this project, I'm going to use a lapped pillow closure with a hook and loop tape. What you're going to need is two pieces of fabric that are 19 inches by 12 inches and one piece of three quarter inch hook and loop tape that is 15 inches long. Take one of the 12 by 19 rectangle pieces 
and with an iron press under one long side two inches. Unfold it and now press the raw edge in towards the crease, aligning it with the crease where you folded it before. Turn the piece over and now we are going to put the loop section of the hook and loop tape right in the center between the two creases. Now an easy way to do that is to use some fabric glue to hold it in place and you can also pin it if you prefer to do that method. And then we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to sew the tape onto the fabric. Edge stitch around the hook and loop tape. When you get to the end, have your needle down and pivot, stitch the edge. needle down again and stitch the other side. Stitch the hook and loop tape securely to the fabric. Refold the hem along the pressed lines and pin it in place. with the wrong side of the fabric facing up, stitch close to the edge of the inside fold, back stitching at the beginning and the end. With the second rectangle back piece, fold it two inches like you did with the first piece and press, then open it up, fold the raw edge in, matching it up with the uh, crease of the other fold and press it and then just refold it and pin it in place. Then, with the fabric, with the wrong side up, again, you're going to stitch close to the inside fold. You're going to edge stitch right along there. Back stitching at the beginning and the end. Center the hook and loop tape on the right side of the fabric between the fold and the stitching line and then stitch it in place just like you stitched the other hook and loop tape on the other piece. The second back piece is completed. Put the two back pieces together where it's velcroed. Then with right sides together, put your quilt top on the top of the, the back and pin it all around to hold it in place. 
I have it pinned and I'm ready to stitch around the outside. I'm going to start, don't start in the corner, start in the middle of one side. And you're going to again use a half inch seam allowance. And I guess I'll start right about there and start stitching. Don't stitch over the pins. Now when you get to the corner, I want to show you a technique that you're going to use. So let's stitch down to the first corner and I'll show you what to do. I'm almost to the corner and I don't know if you can see it, but I do have a little pencil mark that is a half inch from away from each side in there. I'm going to stop right where that is with my needle down and when you lift up to pivot you're going to pivot one little stitch on an angle. This is going to help it uh, when you turn it that the corner will turn out nicer. And then continue stitching the next end and all the way around the entire uh, pillow. I sewed it all around. Another thing I did was I reinforced right where the um, closure is on the back, right there. I put extra stitching. I then decided that I wanted to zigzag all the way around the outside so that it won't fray as easily, and I clipped the corners. Now I'm going to turn it right side out and put it in my 18 inch pillow form and I'll show you what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video and decide to make a nine patch pillow. Please like, comment, and share. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. To follow us, click the iCard or the link in the description section. In addition, please visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of sewing information and free projects.